Lazy developers can be every project's secret weapon. By avoiding tedious tasks and focusing on what truly matters, they boost up the whole team efficiency and save a lot of time in the long run. So how do they use the power of laziness to improve the whole development workflow? While laziness may seem like hindrance, lazy developers actually bring immense value to every project. They are always looking for solutions that helps them avoid doing repetitive and manual tasks, which leads to creating creative automated solutions and saving a lot of time in the long run. I feel like one of them. I don't like spending a lot of time creating repetitive and boring tasks and that's why I always try to search for solutions or tools that helps me in this. Ok, so what are the basic tools I use for automating things in WordPress? The easiest way for me is creating a simple script using Bash, which is command line scripting language for Unix systems. It allows to interact with the system by executing scripts and entering commands. So I just create a script that includes all the tasks that I need to perform and I just fire them by passing the task name as a command parameter. Uh, this script also reads .n file, so all my project variables are also available there. That's nothing fancy, but it works for me. The second tool is WordPress CLI. That's a tool that allows interacting with WordPress using command line interface. It allows performing many tasks such as updating posts, pages, managing users, adding them, removing them, uh, installing plugins, removing plugins and many many more. I think that every developer who works with WordPress should know WordPress CLI and use this often. So, what are the typical tasks in WordPress workflow that I don't really like to do and which I automate? Please remember that those tasks are created based on my workflow, so if you want to use the scripts, you need to get them know really well and adjust to your needs. The first one, WordPress installation. The manual process consists of steps that are really boring, but I don't want to skip them. Those are, for example, creating a local environment, downloading core files and putting them in the document root. That's a lot of steps and even talking about them is boring, that's why I speed up the process. I would rather spend the time learning something new than clicking through all of this. So, what's the solution? I just put WordPress installation responsibility to my environment. The software does what we tell it to do, so why not to spend some time and create commands that the environment will fire? instead of clicking through all of this. So I've just created a function that takes care about WordPress initialization. It downloads the core and few additional files, it performs configuration and setting all the required variables in wp-config, uh, it performs core installation, mm, it, then it performs some additional steps that I want to make like updating users, removing unnecessary content from the database, unnecessary plugins and themes. Uh, it performs uh, settings change like disabled comments, uh, creating additional menus, uh, resetting widgets, uh, settings correct per permalink structure and updating some other settings. That's something that is really useful. So, how does the process look like when using automating scripts? I just need to perform a few tasks, like mm, downloading scripts and making it executable, uh, creating local environment, I use MAMP so it needs to be done manually, then run function for generating dot and file and filling it with required values and run function responsible for WordPress initialization. And that's all. Less than two minutes and we have fully working WordPress website with all those steps 
perform it. All of those boring and repetitive tasks has been handled by the script. I didn't have to spend time on this and I had uh, time for something really interesting and much more interesting than this. Database import and export processes are also a task that I don't really like to do and I don't really like to spend a lot of time on them. I know that those are not really demanding, but if we already create scripts for managing WordPress installations, why to not put the responsibility of preparing database also there? So I've just created two functions that handles this. The first one is DB import, which imports the database backup into our local environment. And the second one is database export, which creates the export file from our local environment. How to automate database synchronization? Let's assume that we need to synchronize the database from production to our local environment. That's another boring task that in some cases takes a lot of time. We need to download the database backup from the server, import a SQL file to our local environment, perform uh, URL changing um, by using search and replace scripts because we need to uh, change URLs from production to our local domain. And then we need to remove unnecessary accounts and remove only those that are really required. Uh, we need to change passwords uh, for the account that have left due to security reasons, we need to remove unnecessary content like revisions, draft, etc. and disable page visibility for bots. And as the website grows, this task becomes much and much more demanding. I know that it is not problematic when we talk about small pages when there is a, there are five users and 10 pages, but if we are talking about a huge website with, for example, 1000 users and 1000 pages, this process becomes really time consuming. And that's why I don't see any other option than automating this. So we just create two functions. The first one is DB anonymize that handles all those tasks that are connected with anonymization, like removing unnecessary users and assigning content to the uh, one account that we have left, uh, setting block as not public and updating all the user passwords. We can add uh, some other tasks here, but that's only an example. And the second function is DB import prod, uh, which just perform all the operations at once. So at first we need to, mm, it imports the database to our system, changes the URLs for all the tables and uh, fires the uh, DB anonymization script. With this script, I just need to perform two simple steps to synchronize the database. I just need to download backup and put it in the document root and just fire the db uh, import prod function. How to automate database deployment? Let's assume that we need to deploy fully working application to our client server, which includes deploying the database from our local environment. The manual process is consists of few steps that needs to be done. The first one is changing domains from the local uh, domain to the production one using search and replace script then exporting database and again changing the URLs from the production to the local one to make our local environment working fine. Those steps are not really demanding, but again, uh, when the project grows, it might become much more demanding and time consuming. So as a solution, I just ask my environment for doing those steps for me. I just need to fire one function into the terminal and the database is prepared. I just need to wait for this. I've created two functions, DB export, prod and staging, depending on what server we need to deploy the database. Uh, and those functions perform all those steps by me. When they change the URL from local to production, they fire a DB export function and again they replace the URLs from production to local environment. So using the power of laziness and creating automating scripts in WordPress by using Bash and WordPress CLI can improve the whole development workflow and productivity. 
it improves team efficiency and saves a lot of time in the long run. I understand that there might be a lot more things that can be automated in WordPress, but I just wanted to show you only a few examples. I just wanted to show you that if you perform some processes repeatedly and those are boring and you don't like to do them, probably there is a way to automate them and move the responsibility from you to your environment. Even if you don't know Bash really well, uh, I think that it is what Bash is not so hard, so uh, from the experience, I think that you should try. And that's all for today, I hope that you enjoyed this video, if so, please thumbs up on this video. If you are interested in more content like this, please subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on everything. Thank you for your time today and see you next time. Bye bye.